Okay, so in this section, we will uh, see what we can do with the UI of our app uh, and uh, we'll open the activity main.xml file. And what you can do is open the split view. Uh, so inside the split view, uh, you can see the design and the XML uh, together. So uh, you can open the uh, something called palette here. Uh, so the palette is what's used to uh, find out things that you can add to your screen. So uh, this is something called a text view inside which you can show some text to the world. Uh, if you have a button, you can add a button like this. Uh, so you say you want to add a button here. Uh, you know, uh, see somewhere in the screen like this here. Okay. And uh, what was the text of the button and everything if you want to change. So here is Android text, you can change this to uh, something like, you know, uh, click me. Uh, so it would say click me here uh, in that case. Okay. Now, uh, a button has been added to your screen. And if you, uh, you know, uh, apply these changes uh, to the app that's running on our screen, um, it will uh, apply those changes and um, it will just uh, rerun our app uh, very soon uh, so i have to click i think uh, by the way there are two buttons here one is called apply changes another is called run app so apply changes works uh, many times it applies your uh, changes in your code uh, to your app that's running already if it does not you can click on uh, run app which will uh, you know recompile the entire app and launch it again on your phone and as you can see the click me button has been created on the screen but it's not in the same position where we had dragged and dropped it okay now, uh, the reason for that is uh, you would find uh, already there is this button is underlined here and you would see an error that this view is not constrained. It only has design time positions. So it will jump to zero zero at runtime unless you add the constraints. So when you drag and drop things, it shows you where things are going to be at design time, but things are not, you know, final uh, when they run on your screen. If you want this to be very, very final, what you have to do is create constraints. So you can create constraints like maybe you want uh, click me uh, to be, uh, you know, uh, positioned, uh, you know, uh, constraints are like strings. You can tie them like this. Okay. Uh, we tie one string to the top, uh, tie another string to the bottom of this. Okay. So, uh, it gets, uh, constrained somewhere here. Uh, we need to constrain it to the left side of uh, the screen as well here and the right side, we can constrain it to the left side of the hello world. Okay. So that way it's basically at the center of this line, uh, and, uh, the top of this, uh, hello world text, uh, the left and, uh, horizontally it's at the center of the left edge of the screen and the left edge of uh, hello world. Okay. So, uh, now we have constrained it. Okay. Uh, you would see these constraints, uh, show up on, uh, the XML as well, like, uh, constrain the bottom to the top of text view, constrain the end of, uh, the item to the start of the text view, uh, constrain the start to the start of parent and constrain uh, the top, uh, you know, uh, to the top of parent uh, like that. Okay. So left side to left side, top to top, and then right side to start of hello world and bottom to start of uh, hello world like this. Okay. Now if I apply uh, changes uh, again, uh, this time, you know, uh, so I have to restart, I think. Uh, Sorry, uh, I guess I have to restart the app. Uh, it's will install and uh, launch. And there you can see now uh, the position is uh, here on my screen uh, like this. Okay, so this is a button. Uh, this is a text view. What else can we add? Uh, we can add uh, like a switch. Uh, so switch uh, if we add uh, somewhere here and uh, you know, uh, let's just say uh, we give the text of the switch as awesomeness, okay. So this is a, our awesomeness toggle. If we turn it on, our awesomeness will turn on or something like that. Just, just fun. Okay. So, uh, now this switch, uh, also one by one, you can constrain it again. Uh, another thing that you can do is, uh, you can just click on this and click on this magic wand. Uh, so this magic wand has uh, this text called infer constraints. So if you click on that, it automatically infers the constraints. So it will automatically create uh, constraints to the top, the bottom, the right, the ones that are needed in the screen. Okay. So you can infer constraints of an item as well. Automatically it will infer uh, the uh, constraints. Okay. So uh, let's run our app again. And now we have this awesomeness toggle, which we can uh, turn on and off uh, as you can see. Okay. So, uh, 
there are a lot of uh, different kinds of views that you can uh, place on the screen uh, right and a lot of different ways you can lay them out so you can uh, this is uh, this uh, type of layout is called constraint layout where you can put things on the screen and add constraints and then they get placed on the screen uh, accordingly and you can also see how it will look like on uh, different phone sizes so for example if i just see the design view uh, uh, so you can select a different device for example uh, how it will look like on a 10 inch tablet it will look like this okay how uh, will it look like on a 7 inch tablet it will look like this okay how will it look like on a you know 5 inch phone it will look like this how will it look like on a 6 inch phone it's gonna look like this okay and how will it look like on a tv it's gonna look like this so uh, you can select different kinds of devices and uh, you know you can even check out how it will look like on a uh, Android Wear watch uh, how to look like if you open the screen okay so on different screens different way uh, constraining will work so you can uh, check those out right um, uh, we are we are uh, I think uh, currently dealing with pixel 4a which is the screen uh, in uh, I think pixel 4a uh, in portrait mode yeah so that's that's the screen we are looking at and uh, that's how we have been uh, placing things i think pixel 4 uh, not 4a eh? it's pixel 4 yeah this is the phone uh, we are currently working on the the one that i'm running things on and uh, that's how it shows up okay so um uh, this is uh, basically how you can uh, lay out things and uh, you know uh, if there are any issues in your code or anything uh, they, they they get shown up in this you know uh, exclamation mark it shows any issues that exist or you know you can see design and you can see any problems that exist here so that's fine uh, we will uh, discuss all of these things later how we can fix those problems and all but this is basically how you put elements uh, on the screen uh, of your uh, app right 